Hey everyone, it's Rack coming out with a brand new video and today I'm gonna be showing you guys the best NVIDIA control panel settings to boost FPS, reduce input lag and improve visuals. These settings will allow you guys to completely optimize your graphics card to ensure you guys are getting the best visuals and performance with inside of the games and making sure that everything is set up correctly. Just make sure that you guys go ahead and watch all of the steps inside of this video as there have been tons of new updates in the NVIDIA drivers, adding brand new features alongside many new bug fixes and new settings. And inside this video we are gonna be fully customizing our graphics card to find the perfect balance of visual quality and FPS in the games. So if you guys go ahead and enjoy the video and are happy with the results, be sure to leave a like down below. And if you guys have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel for future content and without any further ado guys, let's dive straight into the video. So yeah guys, starting off with the guide, first I'm gonna show you guys how to get the right latest version of drivers for your graphics card because it's highly recommended that you guys go ahead and update your GPU at least every 1-2 to two months to keep up to date with all the new performance increases and new bug fixes that come with the new updates. So if you guys haven't updated your graphics card in a while, it's highly recommended that you guys go ahead and do so as this will help you guys get more FPS and reduce input lag in most of the games. So to do that, simply go down into the description of this video and click on the link for the NVIDIA drivers which should take you to this GeForce driver website. It has the latest drivers for every GeForce graphics card out there. So just simply go ahead to this website and so for those of you guys who don't know which graphics card they are using, just go ahead and click on the download button right here for the automatic driver updates. It's gonna download a, it's gonna download a program which is gonna auto detect and update the graphics drivers for your graphics card. Now for those of you guys who do know which graphics card they are using, just go ahead and search manually. So change the series for your graphics card. For me I am using a 750Ti. So I am gonna go ahead and go into the GeForce 700 series. Then go and select 750Ti. Your Windows version, Windows 10 64 bit, that's the one I am using. Your language and make sure that all is selected. Click on start search and here are all of the drivers for my graphics card. So the latest one is this one right here. Just go ahead and click on it and it will take you to this download page right here. Just simply go ahead click on download and install the drivers. Just make sure that you guys go ahead and do a clean install because it will prevent you from running into any issues later down the line. Now for if any reason the latest version of drivers is not working great for you, you guys can always go ahead and revert back to older drivers by searching for your graphics card again and then selecting any one of these older versions. I would recommend going from top to bottom. So in this way you guys will have the best drivers working for your graphics card. So once you have downloaded the latest drivers or the drivers you like and install those, just simply go ahead and restart your PC to make sure that the drivers are working perfectly fine with inside of the windows and then we can continue along with the guide. So now assuming that you guys have already downloaded and installed the latest version of drivers for your graphics card, simply go ahead and right click on your desktop and click on the NVIDIA control panel because we are now gonna change the NVIDIA control panel settings for the best performance, boosting FPS and reducing input lag in any game that we want to play. So once the NVIDIA control panel opens up, go ahead and click on adjust image settings with preview and select use my preference emphasizing. Slide this bar towards the performance and then click on use the advanced 3D image settings then click on apply. So once it, so once it is applied simply go down to manage 3D settings. Now this tab right here is the most important tab with inside of this whole control panel and it contains some of the most important features and settings which will help you guys boost FPS and reduce input lag. All of those settings can be found inside here so make sure to follow as closely as possible. You guys might have some of the settings blacked out or some of the settings for you guys will be different but make sure that you guys follow along as closely as possible. 
so for the image sharpening make sure to turn it on and for the sharpen select 0.50 ignore film grain 0.17 and make sure that gpu scaling is checked now this image sharpening feature is gonna help you guys get better visuals in most of the games and this gpu scaling option is gonna help you guys use any of the custom resolutions for example stretch resolutions in the games that you want to play so make sure that it's turned on and copy these settings then click on ok for the ambient occlusion make sure to turn it off for the anisotropic filtering turn it off as well NTLSing FXAA turn it off as well and NTLSing Gamma Correction make sure that it's turned off too NTLSing Mode turn it off then going to queue the GPUs, make sure that all is selected and all of your graphics card if you're using more than one are checked, then click on OK. DSR factors, make sure that it's turned off. For the low latency mode, this is one of the most important settings inside of this whole tab. So if you guys are getting anywhere above 80 FPS, I recommend turning it on, otherwise just turn it off. Don't set it to ultra because it's not really gonna help you guys for most of the times it will increase the input lag instead of reducing it so just go ahead and turn it on and if you guys are getting lower fps like 60 below so just go ahead and turn it off i recommend turning it on for the max frame rate limit if you guys want to cap fps and are using vsync then i recommend turning it on otherwise just turn it off for the open gl rendering gpu Go ahead and select your graphics card. Optimize for compute performance. Just turn it off. For power management mode, this is another one of the important settings inside of this tab. Make sure that it's always set to prefer maximum performance. For the shader cache, make sure it's turned on. Texture filtering anisotropic sample option. Turn it on as well. For the texture filtering negative load PIAS. Make sure that it's an allow and for the texture filtering quality make sure that it's set to high performance then texture filtering trilinear optimizations set it to on and then threaded optimization always set it to auto for the triple buffering turn it off vsync or vertical sync always turn it off and for the virtual reality and for the virtual reality pre-rendered frames just set it to 1 so after you have changed all of these settings be sure to hit apply okay so once all of these settings are applied just go ahead and go down to configure surround phys x and under the physics settings under processor select your graphics card and hit apply now for some of you guys the graphics card may not work very great and you guys might experience some stutters just go ahead and select cpu if that's the case but for most of the people your graphics card will work perfectly fine then going down to display section click on change resolution and in this tab just go ahead and make sure that you guys are using the right refresh rate and resolution is your preference so for me i'm using a 60 hertz monitor but i have overclocked it to 75 hertz and if you guys haven't watched how to overclock your monitor video i will leave the link in the description down below so just go ahead and check that video out to overclock your refresh rate other than that we don't need to change anything in this tab just go to adjust desktop color settings and i recommend using the nvidia settings and then just bump the digital vibrance from 50% up to 65 or 70%. I like it at 65%, but it's really personal preference. Then hit apply. Then go to rotate display. And you guys can rotate the display if you want to. If you guys have a second monitor that you guys want to be in portrait mode, you can do so from this section. Other than that, we are gonna skip this. Set up digital audio, we are gonna skip this as well. Then adjust this top size and position. Now this is another important tab. You guys always want to select aspect ratio or full screen if you guys have the option to. And make sure that perform scaling on is always always set to display. Your resolution is your personal preference and make sure that the refresh rate is set up correctly. Then go ahead and go into the setup multiple displays. 
Now this section is only useful for those people who have more than one display. I don't have a second display, so it's n so there is nothing for me to change. But you guys can go ahead and adjust your displays, arrange them in any order you want. So we're gonna be skipping this and going to the video section. So moving on to the video section, click on adjust video color settings and then go ahead and click on with the NVIDIA settings. Go to the advanced tab and for dynamic range, make sure that you guys go ahead and select full 0 to 255 instead of limited 16 to 35 and hit apply. This is gonna help you guys get more color range in your games and it's gonna make your graphics a lot nicer in the games then go ahead and click on adjust video image settings and i recommend changing nothing here just leave it as it is and hit close we are done with the nvidia control panel settings so now we are gonna be moving on to the nvidia profile inspector settings so now moving on to the NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings, you guys will need to download the NVIDIA Profile Inspector with Recnotic Profile. It includes my own profile for the best settings for the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. So to download it, simply go down into the description of this video and click the link for the NVIDIA Profile Inspector which will take you to be your skins. So go ahead and click on this big red download button which should take you to upload hub. And if anything else opens up like an ad or something, just simply close it and click on download again. And once you reach the upload hub, go ahead and wait for 5 seconds and then click on download now. Now I'm using the FPS pack Fortnite as an example, but you guys will have this pack right here. So just go ahead and click on download and it will, pa and it will download this pack right here. So once you guys have downloaded this pack, you will need WinRAR or 7-zip to extract it. So download and install any of those programs, it's up to you and then extract this pack. So once this pack is extracted, open up the folder, open up this folder and then go into the NVIDIA profile inspector. Don't mess with any of these, just go into this folder and run this as administrator. So once the NVIDIA Profile Inspector opens up, simply go ahead and click on this Import User Defined Profiles and click on Import Profiles. Then select the Regnotex NVIDIA Profile, click on Open, click on OK and then hit Apply Changes. So now we have applied the best settings for the NVIDIA Profile Inspector but you guys can go ahead and change change some advanced settings as well for the specific game i'm gonna show you guys how to do it for fortnite but you guys can go ahead and use it for any game so for fortnite simply go up here and search fortnite then hit on fortnite now if you guys don't see the game that you are looking for it's probably because you didn't run it as administrator so close it and run it as administrator again so once you type fortnite hit enter and it should open up the fortnite settings don't change anything else except for the only one setting that is the texture filtering load bias dx it will be on plus one by my settings on default it's on plus zero by default it will be on plus zero so you guys can go ahead and change it from plus zero up to plus three it's your personal preference this is gonna change the graphics inside of your games decreasing the shading hence increasing the fps and also reducing the input lag the best setting that I found was plus one, but it's really your personal preference. So go ahead and change it and then hit apply changes again. So once you have done that, just close out of this. Now for if any reason you guys want to revert all of these settings back to their defaults, you guys can easily do so by clicking on this NVIDIA button which says restore current profile to NVIDIA's default and then hitting apply changes. So that will be all. You can close it then. Then you can close out of this folder as well and you guys can go ahead and delete both of these because we no longer require these so yeah guys that will be it for this video don't forget to join my discord server guys it's a really really great community that we are building here and if you guys have any questions or any issues you guys can always go ahead and join the discord and there will be a lot of people answering your questions and helping you out i will personally help you guys out the link will be in the description so go ahead and join the discord server as for this video, that's it from me guys. If this video helped you guys in any way, shape or form, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for future content. 
I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.